All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, swapping gears. Um, I got the turbines and the pipes in there uh, to the point where, uh, you know, obviously I have to pull them back out when I run all the wires and everything for final assembly. But for the most part, they're in there. Um, this one's lined up pretty good. This one needs some work. Um, the last video showing, you know, how to put the turbines in there seems to be working out. Um, they just got to shift left and right a little bit along that axis. So uh, they're close enough to tweak just by move, you know, uh, aligning uh, the turbines. So that that works. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these um, elevator, well, stab turbos in there. The problem uh, running into, I'm using these uh, Fataba BLS 172s, and uh, they're just going to go in like this. But this inside wall uh, needs to be cleaned up a little bit to get it in there. So, time for some sanding. be a bunch of resin or whatever they used in there. So let's see. It didn't need much. Uh, actually that's uh, yeah. Now this the wall needs it. Yeah, they don't, uh, I don't know what kind of paint they use, but this stuff is brittle. It chips off so easy. You know, back here where you put these uh, uh, turkey feathers on, just from spinning, the, the paint chipped off. They, they just need to come up with a better, better type of painting. It's going to be a tight fit. Looks like I'm going to have to hit the wood block in there a little bit too.
just gonna have to enlarge the enlarge this a little bit. It's pretty thick ply. This, I did use the good ply uh, for this area and use that soft stuff that they tend to use. Alright, it's getting there. But you guys get the point. You just gotta slowly enlarge this uh, to shape to the server. I'm trying to keep it as tight as possible that way. Um, you know, it'll help take some of the load instead of just having all the load on these uh, portions of it. So if I can get it nice and snug, you know, the whole servo the servo body will take some of the load and the, um, the force and everything. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep keep trimming trimming away, and uh, I'll take some pictures of it once it's done and everything. So, oh, and just so you know, they do provide your uh, servo arms nice uh, heavy duty servo arm uh, you have to tell them what servos you're going to use because they uh, um, they'll send you the actual servo arm for yours this is a Fataba one and it's three bearings with a bolt and a lock nut so and as you guys know there's a Teflon insert in, in the stab and it just moves up and down in that channel so the hatch will have a little hole cut in it for this and this will be be pretty much covered by the stab so but you guys take it easy I'm gonna get uh, keep keep cutting at this I'll talk to you later